Hi, my name is Guy Finocchi. Let's take a look at a few dominant type chords. The two chords we'll look at are the F9 and the B flat 13. These chords can replace the regular dominant 7th chord. 9th and 13th chords are found in jazz and blues styles. Let's start by taking a look at the F9 chord. Here's our first chord. This is our F9 chord. And let's uh, start by putting the root placement. We have the second finger at the eighth fret of the fifth string. That's where our root will start. First finger on the fourth string seventh fret. Now there's a choice you can make here with fingers three and four right mm -hmm. next to each other on the eighth fret of strings three and two, or you can even bar that with the third finger. I like it either way. With each individual finger, you can move these uh, auxiliary notes. Say if you wanted your ninth to become a sharp nine or a flat nine. So each individual finger, I think when playing in the jazz form, may help uh, getting used to fingers per string if possible. Again, it'd, it'd be your choice. This is, this is just as, as well. Most uh, blues players and funk players will play their, uh, their chords like that. A lot of jazz players will individualize the fingers. But again, that's our F9 chord, and it's an enhanced uh, dominant seventh type chord. It's got a little more color. It's got that ninth tone. Uh, notes are root, third, flat seven, there's your shell structure of your dominant seventh, and then we're adding the ninth for a little bit of color. F9. Let's now take a look at the B flat 13th chord. All right, here's our B flat 13 chord. Uh, not far from the F9, our first finger will cover the root at the sixth fret of the sixth string. Then we're going to skip over the fifth string, uh, second finger, sixth fret, fourth string, third finger, third string, seventh fret, and then the pinky goes on the eighth fret of the second string. So it looks like we got a, like a little staircase there. Frets six, seven, and eight on strings four, three, and two. Uh, note: always try to keep uh, fingers one and two right on the same fret. Uh, when uh, just beginning to learn this chord, sometimes that can get off, so they do share the same fret. And if you notice that when I'm playing that I'm not letting the fifth string be audible, although I am plucking through it. My first finger's leaning against it just to mute it out. Another way, if you look at my right hand, that you can uh, assign a finger or a thumb to each string doing a finger style idea just you know omit that fifth string don't let it come through that's our B flat 13 chord uh, notes are root flat 7 third that's our shell of our dominant seventh and our upper structure is the 13th with the pinky B flat 13 with their colorful upper structures 9th and 13th chords function just as dominant 7th type chords and can be substituted in their place. More examples can be found with my video on jazz blues chord progressions. Until next time, this is Guy Finocchi, checking out.